And I will suggest to you, our future is inextricably intertwined to energy and North American energy. I know Jeb talked about our great friend, the Canadians, and right on he is about that. North American energy policy, I will suggest to you, which is so important to the future of this country. When I think about what is possible, when I think about the opportunities that we have in this country, Senator, I know that American energy is right at the heart of it. I know that. When you think about bringing North American energy, the Canadian sands, opening up the XL pipeline, being able to use a domestic and Mexican energy in a North American energy strategy. We can drive down the cost of electricity. We can then couple that with corporate tax policy, driving down corporate tax rates. I mean, any, any accountant worth their salt will tell you that when you lower that corporate tax rate by 10%, you're going to see a raising of 5 to 10% of wages. Everyone knows, every blue collar worker in America ought to be standing up and saying, I'm voting for the Republicans because they're going to raise my wages. Every one of them. You couple those two things together, the driving down of electricity costs because we're using North American energy. And frankly, I'd a whole lot rather count on the Canadians and the Mexicans and the Venezuelans or some mullah from some Middle Eastern country for our energy. Think about that. North American energy, lowering the cost of electricity in this country, coupled with our corporate tax policy, and we can lure manufacturing back into this country like we have never seen before. I know this can happen. I know it can happen because I've seen it over the last 14 years. We can create jobs like we've never seen created before. We can turn this country around in a short period of time. We're only a few good decisions away and a leadership change at the top in the best days America's ever had. I know that. You know that. 